Um, actually, wait, no. I want to do a little bit more than the size of the canvas because I want to rotate it. So we'll do... That's the canvas. We'll scroll up a little bit more. Looks good. We'll, we'll use the rotate tool. Rotate it just a little bit so it's not straight. There we go. Uh, turn it from normal to overlay over top of the whole thing, except for the uh, for the font, except for the, the, the word. So we'll drag it beneath that. Turn the opacity down just a little bit. Um, we'll grab the other ice texture, which is a super, super cool one. Um, keep. Drag that on in. Look how cool this this texture is. We could literally just have this font, this this picture, and then just like flat graphic words, and it would be the best. Um, but yeah, so we'll scale it down to about the size of the canvas. We'll turn that on screen. Drop the opacity down uh, underneath the black background, um, and and, so, and the other one as well. So something like that. Do I want to do screen for this? Or do I want to do? I think I do. Actually, you know what we'll do instead? I'll go ahead, turn that back to normal. We'll go to curves, brighten it, darken the darker colors, and then we'll hit OK on that. Now what I want to do, uh, colors, uh, uh, wait, no, wait a second, no, layers, sorry, layers, transparency, um, color to alpha, and we'll select, nope, I'm going to turn that back to zero, and we'll select a black, we'll, se we'll select black. Now hit OK on that. Now the only colors that are showing up are the, the brighter colors, so if I were to hide everything except for this layer, you can see that uh, we still have a couple of you know a couple of problems I want to go ahead and grab this blue as well so we'll go layer transparency color to alpha eye drop and we'll grab a well, well not we won't grab that blue color we'll grab let's cancel that let's see let's cancel that there we go um, layer transparency color to alpha and then we'll select like a blue like that so now we just have a little bit more of just the cracks there. So we'll hit OK on that. Now we're going to go ahead and unhide everything. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then we'll put the cracks beneath the black right there. I, I see that this is actually kind of green and purpley. So we'll go ahead and go to curves, brighten it, darken it. We'll get rid of any of the other stuff by going to blue, boosting the blues, getting rid of any of the greens. Um, and also getting rid of the reds. It's a little too blue. <laughs> Bring that blue back down somewhere around there. And the green is also giving us that purple in there. So maybe I'll turn the green up a little bit. And the red back there, right there. So there, there, there that looks kind of whitish with a little bit of that blue on the edges. So we'll go ahead and move that beneath the, uh, the background. Turn this on overlay. And now you can see we have those awesome cracks, which just looks super cool. A lot of effects we got on this now, which looks which, which was really great. We'll go ahead, and I think that was the last yeah, it was the last picture that I had, but I wanted to go ahead and we'll grab that that same cracked up texture again. Um, actually, you know what we'll do? Instead of doing that, we'll just go ahead and duplicate the one that we just made. We'll duplicate that one. We'll scale it down uh, to about the size of the uh, actual visible part of the canvas. So uh, just above the black right there. And then we'll move this up above everything so I can see it easier. Uh, and we'll turn it to normal so I can grab it easier. <laughs> we'll move it over to the left most hand side. Uh, and we'll actually we'll erase the edges first. So let's move it over there and we'll kind of fade the edges away so we can't see where it starts and begins. And on both sides, same thing. A little bit more like that perfect now we'll move it on over once again nope not that <laughs> grab the right thing duplicate and duplicate that move it on over about there we will flip it so we use the flip tool we'll hit hold down control to flip it horizontally looks good uh, merge down they're making it duplicate move it on over and that's the last one that we need all right so we'll merge both of those down and we'll move this beneath the black and we'll turn this to overlay as well. So now we have smaller cracks as well, which looks cool. Um, that looks good. Now what I want to do is for the text, I want the text to be a little bit more visible. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and duplicate the text. Make sure uh, on the bottom layer, the one underneath the, the one we just duplicated, layer, layer to image size, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And then we'll turn the size of that blur up a little bit. OK. And then we'll do, go to colors, colorize, turn the lightness down, saturation up, 
hue we'll shift this to like a more bit of a blue kind of like that looks good we'll duplicate that and then we'll switch this color to solid black we will duplicate this again duplicate and then we'll merge it down by right clicking merge down we'll duplicate it again <laughs> and then this time I want to go ahead blur Gaussian blur give this a bigger radius something like that looks good now this looks terrible right now I know we'll duplicate <laughs> and I want to uh, merge that down and merge this down with the other version as well with the smaller with the smaller black uh, color layer crop the content and now I want to go ahead and move it down because it's a bit too much on the top and not enough on the bottom there we go looks good now I want to change this from normal to uh, grain merge and we'll turn the opacity down so now we can see that text a little bit better and I want to go ahead and uh, once again filters reshow Gaussian blur and then we'll just blur that just so it's it's less harsh like that looks good um, now so we have all that done uh, I want to do a couple more things here we can add other text like if we want to grab the text tool and then just um, add other text like uh, new videos every day I don't know uh, something like that we'll turn the size up to 20 change the color to white even though that's silly we'll change it to blue actually uh, we'll grab that color eye drop that blue right there much easier to see we'll move this above everything except for the text layer Maybe I'll move it, I'll change it up to size 50. Um, hit that little edge of the box to make it uh, the size of the text. Move it on over layer. About right there, that's too big, way too big. And I don't like the font either, not for this anyway. Um, and I'll just pick, you know, uh, axis. Yeah. Uh, 30. Looks good. And then I will select every single one of the letters except for the first letter. And then I will get rid of that. Uh, and then change the letter spacing out like that. Looks good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Uh, maybe I want to do white for this. I think that's a smart thing to do. Yeah. All right, so those are, that'll be white too. And then we'll go ahead, uh, grab that new videos every day font, duplicate that. Um, layer, layer to image size. Uh, colors, colorize. Drag the lightness all the way down. Hit OK. Grab the move tool, <laughs> move it down, uh, move it beneath the that layer, and then filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we'll just do something like that. So two, and then we'll change this to grain merge. Actually, we'll do it. Well, maybe we'll do overlay. We'll put it on overlay, duplicate the layer, and then turn that second duplication layer down to about 50%. Now we have banner tutorial, new videos every day. Looks good. Now I want to go ahead. A couple more things before this video is finished. Um, we can add like logos and other things like, uh, like social media icons and stuff like that. Just like super easily. Oop, nope. Like super easily. Oh, that's because we have. Uh, we can go ahead and with the shadows that we created, it's going to ask us if we want to confirm the text editing because they're not text objects anymore because we we blurred them and made them black. So I want to go ahead and on all the text layers, uh, the, the the text shadows that we just did for new videos every day. I want to go for both of those layer crop to content. And then for the other one, layer, crop the content. Now, now we can edit uh, text over here. So uh, we'll we'll just drag on a, a box slash like, and then your Twitter username, which is Kai K's tweets, whatever, um, whatever uh, you want to do over here, you can do that. Just change it to white, and I'll get rid of all of that text, letter spacing, um, and we'll just put that way off on the side over here. You won't see this if you're on mobile, but that's fine. I'll just do something like this. Uh, it doesn't need to be all fancy. And then I can grab like the Twitter logo, but I'm not going to do that because I don't, you know, have have them and I didn't, I don't uh, have permission to use them. So same thing. We'll just do like the slash, you know, uh, Kai K or whatever. And then the, the other ones um, and then slash touched by Kai. I don't know. Whatever uh, you want to do over here. It's 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 cool. Uh, and then you just grab the logos and I'll move this one up. Nope. I'll move this one up above that one because it looks better because it's um like a staircase. <laughs> So that looks fine. Whatever you want to do over there, I'm not going to keep those, but uh, just letting you guys know you can do that as well. Um, so I want to grab the, the rectangle select tool, and I'll just draw a rectangle over top of this entire piece that will actually be showing on the banner, because the black spaces is just for the TV, What's what TV users are going to see.